In this video, you will learn how to select features using univariate analysis. We will see how we can find out which features have most predictive power to predict our target variable. We will take an example of regression model where we will compare mean squared error or MAC for each features with respect to our target variable and find the best feature for the model development. In our next tutorial, we will take an example of classification problem using ROC AUC value. Note down one thing that the smaller the mean squared error, the better the model performance because this is an error. So we want our error to be as low as possible. So once we compute the mean square error, we will select those features whose mean square error is low. Let's import pandas as PD. import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt percentage matplotlib inline. I'm going to make one variable df and in this I will save my csv file. I will call pd dot read underscore csv and inside this I will pass my csv file name which is sale price dot csv. Let us look at the top five rows of a data frame. I will write df.head and here in the output you will see we have this data frame here. So we have all this numerical columns here and then we will have one target variable and our target variable is sale price. Now we are going to find the predictive power of all these independent variables with respect to our target variable sale price using the mean square error. Now let's do that. So first, let us also check the shape of, of our data frame. I will write df dot shape. So we have total 1460 rows and 37 columns. And now let us also check the data types because to find the mean square error, we need to have this data type of either integer or float. I will write here df dot d types. And mostly we have this integer and float. We don't have any object variable because this MSA will not work on the object variable. And we also need to make sure that we don't have missing values in a data frame because if we have missing values, then we will get an error. Let us also check that df dot is na dot sum. And here in the output, you will see one, two variables are having missing values. So we have this variable lot frontage having 259 missing values. And the second variable is garage year built having 81 missing values. We are going to drop missing values from these two columns or from the entire data frame. So I will write here df dot drop na. And then inside this I will pass one parameter which is in place is equal to true. Now let us execute our code. We will split our data frame into X and Y and we will build one model using random forest regressor because to get the MSC value first we need to fit our model and then only we can get the MSC values. I will type here X and then I will type DF dot ILOC. Now I want to get all rows so I will type here column and I want to get columns from 0 up to 36 because we have total 37 columns you will see here so we have 37 columns up to 36 will be our independent variable and the last column will be our target variable and I will create one more variable y and in this y I will call df dot iloc I want all rows and I just want the last column to get the last column we just have to type minus one here and we will get the last column so we have this X and Y and now we are going to import few libraries to develop our random forest regression model. So I will call here from sklearn.model selection and from this we will import train test split then from sklearn.ensemble import we will import random forest regressor and then we will also import the mean square error because we want to find the mean square error. So from sklearn.matrix import mean square error. So we have different uh, metrics here, mean absolute error, mean gamma, but we will select the mean square error. 
we will make an empty list msc underscore values and in this we will save the mean square error of each independent variable i will run a for loop for feature in x train dot columns so we are running a for loop on this columns of this x train data frame and then i will call this random forest regressor so i will make an object of this class random forest regressor i will call this and then in the next line i will fit this random forest model on our x train and y train and then i will make prediction and save in the variable y bread and to do that i will call the method predict from this rf and in this i will pass x test and then i will calculate the mean squared error and append the result in this empty list msc values so i will call this msc values dot append to calculate mean square error we have to call this class mean square error and to find it we have to use the y test and y predicted so we are finding the difference between the actual and the predicted so actual results are in y test and the predicted results are in y underscore pred now let us execute our code so this will fit the model and it says that x train is not defined so i have missed this step i have not split this data frame first let me split it x train x test y train y test and then i will call this train test split and inside this i will pass our x and y and then i will pass the test size and this is going to be 0.3 we are going to keep 30 percent for the test purpose and we will pass one more parameter which is random state and this can be any number if you want your result to be same as mine then you have also have to type one two three now let us execute our code and now let us execute this code again so now it is fitting this random forest model on our x train and y train and once it fits, then it will make the prediction using this method predict on this x test and it will save the results in this variable y underscore bread so once we have this predicted results then it will calculate the mean square error and to calculate the mean square error we need to have two things first the actual values and the actual values are saved here in this y test variable and then the predicted values and predictive values are saved in this variable y underscore pred. So if we have these two, uh, these two variables or these two objects y test and y pred, then we can easily calculate the mean squared error of each feature. And once we have it, then it will append the result in this empty list. And once it finished calculating the MSC values, then we can print it. So it has finished calculating. Now let me print msc underscore values. So here you will see we got the mean squared values for our features, but you will see here we are not getting the feature names here. So now what we are going to do is we will reset this index and in the index we will give the column name. So it is easy to interpret which variable is having which msc value. So for that I will write first I will convert this msc underscore values into a panda series and then i will reset the index and give the column names so i will call this msc values then i will call this pd dot series and then i will call msc values once i convert this then i will reset the index i will call msc values dot index and then i will call x train dot columns so here what I am doing here, I am saying that I want column names of this x train against each of these MSC values. Now let us execute our code. And then once I have this, so I'll let me print this. So now you will see we have these column names here. Once we have these column names, I also want to sort it. So I will call this MSC underscore values dot sort underscore values. And then I will say ascending is equal to false because I want to sort it on descending order. So the variable having the highest MSC value will come on top. So now we have sorted based on the descending order. 
now we will also plot it to see it better and interpret it so i will just copy this code from here and paste it here and then i will call plot dot bar and then i will plot it so we have this plot i'll also increase its size so i will write here figure size is equal to let's say 10 to 15 now you will see that we have got the msc values and the feature names here so we have this feature names here and the bar represent their msc values and remember as i told you earlier the smaller the mean squared error this better the model performance so we select our variable from right side because they have small msc values so if you look at this variable the first variable is having the highest msc value on the left side and if you come on this right side you will see the msc values are decreasing and it, if you come to this right it is further decreasing so now you based on this plot now you have to uh, select those feature whose msc value is uh, less so our first feature is going to be this basement full bath then pool area first floor sf ear sold and so on these variables are having low msc values so we will select these variables for our model and these variables are having high msc values so we will not select these variables and let us look at these variables so these variables are garage area overall quality open porch sf low quality fin sf and etc so based on this msc values you can pick up those variables having low msc values because msc is the error and we want our error to be as low as possible so that's all for this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching